like the guru this is my review of bel air season two episode seven and man this show is becoming one of my favorite shows on tv now if this is your first time here make sure you sub to the channel click that like button but i gotta start with jazz and hillary man they've been going on and off on and off and it's typically how it happened. People go on and off, on and off, and then they finally actually break up. This episode, they finally actually broke up. And it was weird because both of them was right in certain instances. Like, Hillary spot on. Jazz started acting a little funny, man. He felt threatened, and he didn't handle it well at all. He allowed LaMarcus to come in and really change the dynamic of their relationship and it was like a little undertone of these things that was already there. And then Hillary, she kind of stepped on them, man. At that restaurant, you don't do nothing like that. Ladies, you don't do nothing like that. And uh, Jazz was spot on. If it was the dude LaMarcus or some dude that she knew had the money, if her dad was sitting right there and his card was brought back and it said that, uh, it was it was wrong or something that he didn't have funds. She would allow her dad to be like, yo, uh, no, nah, I'll run the card again. Cause in her mind, she would say, Oh yeah, he got the money. Like something gotta be wrong. But because it's jazz and she think he don't got the money, then it's like, oh no, let me pull out my card before a scene get made in her. You know, so she shouldn't have did that, man. And it's leading up to them breaking up. But this the thing. They still going to have feelings for each other. And both of them going to end up getting with other people. You know, uh, Hillary going to get his dude LaMarcus a shot. And Jazz going to get with somebody that's going to really, really frustrate Hillary. I'm going to make a separate video on it and go all the way in. Because they going to make a dope dynamic, a dope couple. But it's going to really upset Hillary. And they still going to be able to come around the family. Because remember, Jazz know Will. Jazz know the family. So they going to still be able to come around. And it's going to really upset Hillary, man. But let's move to the next big situation that went on this episode. And that is Frederick and Jeffrey. Jeffrey's son is back. And he got questions. And he wondering... How is my dad such a great man for this family, but he wasn't there for me? And I feel him. He frustrated because even though things was okay, you want your father there, man. The dad make a difference, man. So I feel him, and his dad make a big difference in a bunch of young dudes' lives. So he looking at the picture with Carlton, Will, and Jeffrey, and he like, man. My dad over here raising some kids that ain't his. <laughs> He's supposed to have been doing that with me. That's supposed to be me in that picture. You know what I'm saying? But um, things happen. And he couldn't be there like he wanted to. And he failed from that aspect. Can't make excuses. But he was still there. And salute to Uncle Phil. Came through clutch fourth quarter. Game winner. Because the dude, uh, Frederick, was just like, man, I'm getting up out of here. Like, he didn't understand. Uncle Phil had to come, hey, you remember this and this? Jeffrey, you know, remember when this happened and you were still able to go to school? And did Jeffrey, I'm like, dang, Uncle Phil coming through dropping a hammer. Like, yo, dog, cut your dad some slack. He still was there for you financially. He still made sure you became successful. I mean, Uncle Phil going in detail too. Remember when your mom and dad lost a job? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, Uncle Phil going in, man. But it was necessary. And that really changed the dynamic. And I like that the dude Frederick gonna be staying a while around. And by the way, he got a shot at getting at Hillary. Hey, you see how he walked in? He seen Hillary, yo, know, like, oh, who's this little stallion? chocolate godiva you know uh who this you know he had no no choice but to look at her like yo what's up you know what i'm saying so um he's still gonna be around and that's gonna be a dope situation now a situation that's not so dope 
It's this Will and Jackie situation. And I like Jackie. But we didn't got to see a, a part of her that I didn't know they was going to go into. And I don't know everything she didn't been through. You know, they might end up going down a road with Jackie that's more about kids being traumatized and stuff that um, happened when you a child that affects you as you get older. You know, I think that's the road they're going to go down with her. And she's drinking. I mean, sloppy drunk. Thank God for Will being the young man he is because I'm going to tell you something. A lot of dudes take advantage of situations like that, man. But he didn't. He picked her up, took her back to Doc, and it's going to bring him closer to Doc, which now he's starting on the team. But I still don't trust Doc, man. I just don't. He asked for information for Will for back home and all this. It's just like, ugh, I don't trust this guy, you know. But for Will helping out Jackie, like I said, now he's starting on the team. And Will, I know he like, hold on, I'm number one now? Like, <laughs> yeah, dog, you did some stuff off court that then bumped you up in the lineup. And best believe when Jackie come to and she's, like, back good. She's going to go to Will and really, really thank him. And she's probably going to open up with him more. Which will bring them even closer together. You know, so that dynamic, they relationship going to keep growing. Now, let's get to the grown folks relationship. Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil, I think, are about to go through it. Because this girl, Erica... She own Uncle Phil, and she's trying to bring him to the team. They didn't offer everything to him. He like, what's the catch? Ain't no catch. You're going to run everything over here. You're going to be the big dog. We're going to pay you a lot of money. Ain't no catch. You can help the people you want to help. Do all of that. We support you. You know, so Erica is going to get him over there, I think, because I don't think he's going to be able to keep his company. I would love for him to be able to keep the company, but – Seems like they going to merge, you know, and he going to end up working over there. And the crazy part is Aunt Viv can just feel something wrong with this Erica situation. She can just feel it. You see her looking at her phone. She's about to reach out and call Erica, you know, and at some point she going to have to step to her because best believe the girl Erica won't Uncle Phil. Like, want him. Like, yeah, I'm getting him. I don't care if he married. <laughs> she know he married with kids, and she don't care. When they had that dinner, when he first uh, got back up with her, and she was saying how she's single now and all this, I'm like, yeah, she ain't going to be good for the team, man. She ain't going to be good for the home team. Aunt Viv can feel it, and she going to bring it up to uh, Uncle Phil again. Just watch. This next episode, she going to bring it back up to him again like yo what's going on with you and Eric <laughs> and he gonna have to deal with that which will be a difficult situation to deal with now let's touch on one more thing and we're gonna get up out of here man another difficult situation to deal with that video coming out oh man that video coming out was wild man and Carlton then dealt with it he came back and gave a powerful speech. I mean, a great speech. Right after he gave the speech, he go back to doing dope. I said, come on, Carlton. <laughs> you gave a great speech, dog. Don't fall off the wagon now. And what's crazy, he going to be fighting this urge, that struggle for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life, when he go through something, he going to turn to dope. Or it's going to cross his mind at least once. You know, that's the crazy part. That's why they say, don't do drugs. Don't do it once. Because if you do it once, you're going to be fighting that battle forever. And that's what kids don't know. And I hope it don't get super, super, super bad to where everybody can see Carl on dope. And he just wilding out in front of people, man. I hope it don't get like that. And, you know, it's crazy because... He stepped up big after the situation come out where he was doing some stuff you should never do. That's complete violation. Him and the, the, the white dude that was saying it, complete violation. But Will just wanted all, and he can't have it 
all, man. Now, I did like the fact he came full circle after they had a big argument and stuff over this Founders uh, Award. They have uh, uh, Will go to, to Doc, and he realized how much his uncle did for him. But then he also figures out who released the video. That's the main culprit, and it's Drew. He put it together and figured out it's Drew. This going to really put a crazy dynamic with Lisa and Carlton, Lisa and Will. Even though Lisa and Will ain't talking right now, that's going to put a crazy dynamic in their relationship because this dude, Drew, is the bad guy. Like, the whole season, this dude been the bad guy. Ever since he came around, Carlton smashed him already. I thought Will was going to smash him in the hallway, but he didn't. He let him slide because Lisa was there. You know what I'm saying? But that dude is a bad guy, and Will being able to tie and put that together might just lead to Will stepping out the way of Carlton, but the damage is already done. Call him back getting high. That's the real damage of this whole thing. It ain't if Carlton lose the race. It ain't if Will and Carlton, you know, beefing a little bit. That ain't the real damage is Carlton getting high again. So I really hope Drew get all that's coming to him, man. But it's Mac the Guru, man. Y'all subscribe if you're still here and you're not subscribed. Click that like button, everybody, man. Let me know what you thought about this episode because... This series is real dope. All of their episodes be dope to me, man. So y'all let me know what you think. And always be easy, be safe, peace.